you are listing this dictation at onlineferrari.in. Passenger safety, amenities, food services, sanitation and bullet trains are some of the major highlights of the railway budget for 2014-15 to presented to parliament today. There is no proposal to increase passenger fares and free charges. Railway Minister D. V. Sadanan Gora announced introduction of 5 Jan Sadhiran, 5 Premium, 6 AC, 27 Express, 8 Passenger Trains, 2 Mamo and 5 Damo Services. The budget has provision of bullet trains from Mumbai to Ahmedabad sector, allocation of 100 crore rupees for diamond quadrilateral network of high speed rail connecting major metros. Gora said safety of passenger is of paramount importance and amount of 1785 crore rupees has been earmarked for road under bridges and all bridges. The SEPWD has informed that conversion of flexible roads in Itanagar, Dharalagun and Nizuli to rigid pavement are being taken up by TWD in a fish-wise manner. The rigid pavement works for 16 km under phase first has already been awarded and the execution of works shall be taken up soon at the end of the ongoing monsoon season. Similarly, the rigid pavement works for 6 km under phase second has also been sectioned and tender process is in progress and its execution would also be taken up in September next. All government officers who have vehicles attached with them are directed to use their vehicles during the 36 hour band called APSU starting from tomorrow at 5 am to 5 pm the next day. In a circular today, the Secretary of Transport has said that any officer not using the vehicle attached to them will have their vehicles withdrawn. Taking serious exception of the Saturday incident in Tarasu area, the APSO in a release urged both the state governments to intervene and deliver justice to the victims without favor. NASA coordinator Pritam Bhai Sonam also condemned the act and advised the media fraternity of the northeastern region to report without any bias. He urged the people of both the states to avoid fingerprinting anybody before the judicial probe for not spreading misgivings in the civil society. A delegation of the indigenous faith and culture society of Arunachal Pradesh, led by its president Vaidik Thongchi, has submitted a memorandum to Union Mosque for Home Affairs, Kiran Riju, reiterating the demand that no person or community in Arunachal Pradesh should be entitled to double benefits as SDs and members of any religious minority group. Stop.